Today I thought we might revisit Big Bertha. She is the one project I've done that I continue to get the most questions about. Mostly people just check it up on her well-being. <laughs> is she still around? Have I done any work on her? You know, that kind of thing. So let's do a flip through and then, I don't know, maybe we'll add to her. So um, if you don't know Big Bertha, she is just a very large junk journal. She's made from paint sample booklets that I got like at the hardware store, paint stores, with just a bunch of random stuff. She's basically just a glue book. So I'll put a link down to the uh, playlist that has maybe a handful of videos that I've done since she was born, which is, I think, 2015. So um, just a handful of videos. I think they're all flip throughs. I didn't do any process videos because she is basically just a glue book, just gluing stuff in. But let's just dive in and take a look. Big Bertha's covers are made from some scraps of upholstery fabric that I had left over. This used to be on my dining room chairs. And I just sewed two pieces back to back around the edge and it just naturally frayed. And over the years the fraying has just gotten fluffy and wonderful. <laughs> but it doesn't fray beyond where I stitched it together. Um, so that's all it is. The signatures, there's, I don't know, seven, eight maybe. They're just sewn in with wax linen and just a regular long stitch type thing, nothing fancy. I found out too that the paint sample books that I used in here, some of them are like really big and they don't make them this big anymore. I was really disappointed to find that when I started recollecting paint sample books. They're much smaller now. So anyway, there's some, uh, there's some cool stuff in here. As you can see, it's just mostly messy glue book stuff, like for no reason, scraps of things that like don't even go together. This one I did some doodling on, but that's a random thing in here, or a, not a random, but infrequent. I didn't do much, much doodling and really just kind of a using up your stash type glue in, you know? Okay, let's pull this out. I believe that if there's a pocket, it should have something in it. So, oh, this is what's in this pocket. Scraps, napkins. There's a lot of pictures in here that I cut out of uh, art and craft magazines like Somerset Studio, because I had a big stack of Somerset Studio magazines that I needed to get rid of. So I went through and I just cut out all of the pretty pictures of other people's art and saved those and threw the rest of the magazine away because I didn't need all those words, you know. <laughs> I don't buy it for the words, or I didn't buy it for the words at that time. I just looked at the pretty pictures. <laughs> so that's what a lot of these are. They're just pictures out of that type magazine of other people's art. And, you know, I've always had a thing for bottles and there's packaging and just randomness. You know the Olive Garden mints that they give you. Apparently I was just saving everything during this time or I had so much that I just had to get rid of it and that this was like really easy to make at the time and I find that now if I went back and tried to do it it would probably be more difficult because I feel like I'm not this random anymore and I don't know. I, I don't know if I've like lost <laughs> my ability to be random or if I'm just out of practice I'm not sure but you know what I, I think maybe we'll just find out I might try to add some stuff while we're going through here um, and if you've seen the last flip through nothing has changed I really don't think I've added anything because you know been busy with other stuff oh my Japanese pen packaging I love this Just cool things. And I've noticed too that I must have been eating a lot of Werther's original candies because I believe there are several pages that have wrappers on there. And this, well, this needs something. And you know what? That shape just like, okay, something just popped into my head. I know exactly what it needs. It needs a cigar band. Just this one. 
Not really the shape I wanted. Um, oh! Oh, that's what I want right there. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. And like I said, this is mostly a glue book. And most of the glues that I've used to glue stuff down have been uh, sticky glues like Tombow's Mono Multi Liquid Glue. This one does dry tacky, so if you accidentally over glue, you're going to have an issue because it's going to stay sticky. So you have to be careful with that. Or Helmar 450 is a good one. Let's use, let's use the 450 on this. Now on, there are some areas where I've done, I've uh, glued down some napkins and tissue paper, things like that. And for that, I would just use Mod Podge. But these glues, the Helmar 450, it dries really fast so that it, it doesn't, um, your paper doesn't even have time to buckle. So it's, it's really good for that. Okay, see, that's what that needed. It just needed a little something. And there we go. Okay, moving on. <sighs> okay, this is a... This was a pharmacy bag. I recognize I like the way it crinkles. Anything in it? You know, every bag or pocket should have something in it. I feel something, I just can't grab it. Oh, it's a receipt. Huh, okay, there's nothing fun in there. Anyway, there's that. Oh, and to keep keeping in line with the pharmacy bag theme, here's some pharmacy <laughs> prescription labels. This needs something in the middle. Do I have a little punched something? Okay, I grabbed a circle punch. It's, you know, about the right size to put a little middle to my flower, which doubles as a nose. And then I have these paint chip sample things laying around. I might see if I can punch that. This is from, uh, you know, what do you call it? I keep wanting to say Hobby Lobby, and that's not it. Uh, Home Depot. That's their paint brand. Bear has the bear on it. So, oh look, it's just right. And this is just kind of how the whole thing has gone. Just what I feel like it might need or what fits. I'm just really all about, you know, if you have an image that fits in a certain area <laughs> than it was meant to be. That's where it wants to go. Moving on, this was all in reds and it has a little pull-out card for reds. And that's pretty. There we go. This was a um, because a font book, yeah, that I added. I didn't do much to it, just on the cover. Love that one. And this was napkins. And yep, there's stuff in here. I think these were more smaller paint sample booklets that I just kind of put stuff in. Well, <laughs> just completely ignored that one. God, that's kind of, what do I have I can put there? Here is a dolly looking card that I could stick right there, just because. Do I want to trim off that white? I don't think that I do. I think I just want to kind of leave it. Put it like that. Yeah, gonna go with it. it. Looks like I had this glued on something else and then peeled it off. There's that. And oh, well, I didn't even get a good start on that. Hey, I've got some, seems like I have some 
blue something that would go in there. I just ran across the other day. Ha! There it is. Oh, yeah. Maybe that one. Okay. What do I need to do? Well, it needs a cover. I think I'll put this on the cover. Like right there. Measure carefully. Mm -hmm. Good enough. I just had a cool image put over that. Do I? I don't know. What do I have? I've got a look at that bird. Too much blue. Why do I keep grabbing blue stuff? <laughs> Why? Because that fits. Maybe I can find a word or phrase or something that would be perfect to put up there. Oh, this makes me happy. Love it. Love it. Love it. I might could put this one here. Okay. Let's just see. Sticker there. Or I don't know. I don't even know what that is. Oh, I cut it a little short. Pay attention to what you're doing, Shan. My precise measuring was off just a tad. There we go. I won't worry about putting something over it just yet, but. You know, at least we got it going on. Oh, now what do I need there? That one? Hey, that one would fit inside the the orange. Now if I had a little, there it is, a little credit card. Let's move that down. Okay. So, stick back that one back in there until I revisit it, you know, in another five years. <laughs> and more Werther's wrappers, and this was a napkin on a paint sample trifold thing. Hey, I managed to actually kind of finish that one out. And a lot of these, you see these pockets, some of them, well, okay, no, all of them, I like made the pockets before the decorating. So some of them I just left the original, this was the paint sample card, that's probably a house showing this color paint. And then others, I glued a background paper over it, but the, the background paper kind of stops right there because the pocket was made before I had the background idea. <laughs> and I'm good with that. I just don't, you know, this, this whole thing was not planned. It just sort of evolved and so, you know, I just had to go with what I had. And, and I love the way it turned out, so it worked. These were catalog pages that I love the colors, and I just added more of those colors of things to them, probably from the same catalog. Looks like Ballard. Yeah, it reeks of Ballard. 
pretty colors. Sometimes there's a color theme. This is all blues, but sometimes there's not. This was a, I don't even remember what this booklet was, but I just glued, looks like postage receipts into it. You know, here's what you got. Oh, look at that blankness. What? I can't have that. My goodness. Okay. This does have sort of a, a soft beigey yellow with hints of blue color going on. So what do I have that I can uh, use with that? I don't know. Nothing in my memory banks is jumping out at me, so I'm going to flip through. This one is backgrounds. So I'm just going to kind of casually flip through some of these and see if any of the colors. Uh, that one, that one kind of, oh look, that one really jumped out. And if I cut off that strip, be a little short. I don't know. Keep looking. What is this one? Oh! Yeah. That's got a lot of interestingness going on. That feels like a page out of a National Geographic. Oh, that's probably the reason I saved it. <laughs> That's a lot prettier than that, but this really goes. I am not one for, you know, making a copy so that I can use this again. Um, I used to do that. I might still if it's something that's just, you know, the most incredible image ever. But I have so much stuff in my stash and collect so much stuff that I've really learned to just let it go. And this works for what I need, so I'm going to use it. And I'm going to lose this image, and I am perfectly fine with that. Because, you know, for every cool image that I lose from this, you know, front and back thing, I'm going to gain five more when I look through my next magazine. So, I'm going to let it go and not worry about it. Not worth my time and energy and effort to save every single image. Now, if you're just building your stash, then yeah, you know, that's certainly something you might want to do. But eventually you'll get to the point where your stash is starting to take over your life and <laughs> you need to kind of rein it in. And that's where I'm at, so. I'm good just gluing it down. Now, that is much less offensive, don't we think? Yeah. <sighs> Junk mail, what's in here? Well, this looks like some pieces I saved and intended to do something with. Okay, I glued something on that one. Alright, so there's just extra to be decorated things. This was a Christmas card from Neri that I loved, so I kept in here. Wouldn't it be funny if that was like a winning ticket? Because I never did pull back the things to see if I won. <laughs> yeah, hello. And another pocket. See, I could put a background paper over this and then just, you know, glue it down to wrap there. But not inclined. This is more, that looks like some jelly print pieces and some magazine pages. Duluth. <laughs> Duluth Trading. They have their buck naked underwear, which I have to call panties because, you know, I insist that Jason wear panties instead of underwear just to irritate him. But their buck naked panties for men are just awesome. Like, I, I don't know how long Jason's had his and they're not falling apart. You know, how eventually, like, the elastic starts to give way or the, the fabric tears away from the elastic. I hate that. No, they hold up really well. They're really expensive. Like, I don't know, 20 something dollars for a pair of panties. But they were worth it. Bugs. 
And see, this doesn't even begin to go together. It was just stuff that I had that needed to be glued down. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and more randomness. Look, everyone at Dell wished me a happy birthday. Because we're just tight like that. Me and everyone at Dell. This had some issues with a pen that didn't dry. I did a little doodling and the pen just went crazy. And I put a sticker over one of them, but I need to fix these other ones eventually. But that's a fun fold out. And then this little pocket thing up here. <laughs> okay, clearly that's not supposed to happen. Oh yeah, these were the Pantone pastels. There we go. And I loved these. This was um, Home Depot, had their paint samples in this shape at one time and you could just make cool flowers out of them. And I love the shape, but they don't have them anymore. But this, I just took the, the booklet and I cut slots between the samples that were printed, the color swatches that were printed, and then tucked these in there. Pretty cool effect. This was packaging and just some more paint sample cards that I glued magazine images onto. Oh, and cough drop wrappers, apparently. Okay. Uh, that just <laughs> needs some help. And more cough drop wrappers. You can tell what was happening in my life at that time. Oh, I even rubber stamped on that. <laughs> this one. This was a, this volcano image that I cut out and wasn't really paying attention, just kind of cutting around the smoke part, and it ended up looking like a duck. And that duck has just stymied this whole page. <laughs> like, I can't get past the duck to do anything else, and I don't know what to do. So I, this just stays. That's, that's all that is. This was some green and a fold out with some more stuff. I think this, yeah, that one opens. Magazine, that needs, that needs serious help. It needs repair too. Okay, I don't know why. Did I leave it like that in case I wanted to put a background under there? Maybe I did. Maybe. I was like smart and left it in case I wanted to put something behind him. I'm not going to question myself and I'm just going to leave it like that just in case I actually was that smart. I doubt it. It probably came unglued, but <laughs> it sounds good anyway. Love these pastels and randomness. This makes me cringe when I look at it, so I think I'm going to cover it up. I don't like it. <laughs> this is an inside joke between me and Jason. That makes me laugh. And shades of beige. Packaging, junk mail, printouts, uh, magazine image. And yeah, this was all other people's artwork that I cut out of magazines. Put it in a paint sample book and a pocket. Push that one. I left part of the original, this was a paint sample card or page. Left part of it showing. There's this. And that's kind of plain. I need something. Love this one. Turned out well. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> oh, I love that. Whoever did that, I love it. 
pocket, gel print, magazine, napkin, and oh, this was the Duluth Trading little mini catalog. I glued some stuff in it here and there, and then just left some of the pages. That one, pretty blues. And oh, that's nice. That folds out. Is that a oh no, an empty pocket. I'll have to remedy that. Here. There's two sample cards. Can't have an empty pocket. And there we have it. So, there is Big Bertha as she stands today. And let me go back and see. I think I need another um, center for that flower. And I've got my thing out. So, I'm going to heat that a little bit because I put too much glue. I don't want it sliding around when I turn the page. Okay. I like those pretty colors there. And I like that. I just don't want to do anything with that because I like it. This needs a lot of work. But I don't know what I want to do on those. However, I could put something right here. That's a, is that a pocket? That's a pocket. Why is there nothing in that pocket? Oh my gosh. That is tragic. What can I put in there? It's got to be kind of skinny. I'm going to find something. Well, here's a sample card. It's too wide to fit in there. But I could cut it. Or I could fold it. I think I'm going to cut it. two or three. Got a couple that kind of go with these colors. Okay. Well, at least there's something in there. That makes me happy. Over here. Yeah. I still want to put something here though. Maybe these Here's what I'm thinking. Cut off the white area. And then just put it like that. Yeah, that looks much better. A lot of these have forgotten how they work. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. I need something across there. Something kind of earthy. And interesting. What do I have? I've had this for eons. It was a like a Starbucks work at Starbucks flyer thing and it was just so well done a friend collected a bunch of them and made copies for us sorry Starbucks <laughs> yeah okay this needs something here 
And these came out of some paint sample books. And, uh, you know, they were images other than houses and rooms. <laughs> so I cut them out. And they're kind of cool, you know. I think I like that one. I might even fussy cut that. I think I will. Well, now that I fussy cut it, it kind of doesn't really work <laughs> like I wanted it to. <laughs> uh, story of my life. Okay. Because I wanted to kind of cover up that little piece of thingies and fussy cutting it doesn't do that. I mean, I like this very much. I love it. It kind of looks cool. Okay, I'm going to use that, just not right there. Maybe this is what I need for right here. And I could kind of fussy cut it, and it'll still work, right? Okay, this white part cut off. And I'm not even bothering to try to... I'm just going to make my own zigzaggy wigglies. There we go. Maybe that's more what I wanted. And yes, it is. Bleeding over a little too far, so I'm gonna cut this back a little bit. Most of my paint samples have come from Lowe's, Home Depot, and the Sherwin-Williams paint store by my house. And some of them are old and, you know, they don't make them quite like that anymore. But most of the ones I've been using today are pretty new. So you get the gist of this, right? It's really more gluing than thinking. <laughs> and if stuff fits, then that's where it goes. Sometimes there's a theme, sometimes there's not. This is just sheer fun for fun's sake. So y'all make you one of these. You don't have to do a great big, big Bertha. You know, it can be a little one, just a little glue book. Some of you are already doing fabulous glue books similar to this. But it's a great way to use up your stash. You don't have to think, you just have to glue. Just find places for your stuff to fit. So, that is all. Until next time, the end. <laughs>